7, Historically, 2012 will become the year that Europe established fully autonomous access to space when on February the 13th, Europe's launcher portfolio was completed with the successful qualification flight of Vega from Europe's spaceport at Kourou, French Guiana. This will make access to space for mid-range satellites easier, quicker and cheaper. By extending its range of launchers to include Vega along with Ariane 5 and Soyuz, Europe now leads the way in the global launch market with the ability to launch any size of payload into any orbit. Still in Kourou, a month later, the third automated transfer vehicle, ATV-3, was launched by the powerful Ariane 5, sending 6.6 .6 tons of cargo to the International Space Station. ATV is the smartest vehicle in space to date with an onboard navigation system that enables it to dock automatically to the ISS. With the retirement of the NASA Space Shuttle, ATV has become indispensable in ferrying goods to the astronauts in orbit around the Earth. The arrival of ATV-3 was closely monitored by ESA astronaut Andrei Kupers. After leaving for the ISS on a Soyuz from Baikonur, at the end of 2011, he returned on the 1st of July after more than six months of conducting science experiments aboard the ISS. June witnessed a rare event when Venus passed in front of the Sun on the night of the 5th. This solar transit, which only happens twice every 112 years, has always been a great opportunity for astronomers to discover more about the solar system. Oh, the sun has appeared. But now, thanks to ESA's Venus Express mission, in orbit around the planet since 2005, the scientific community has a permanent close-up view, allowing a better understanding of this planet. For 35 years, satellites have been providing Europe with accurate weather forecasting and climate monitoring. Last summer saw the launch for Eumasat of two new weather satellites, MSG3, used for the study of meteorology and climate change, and METOP-B, a polar orbiting satellite which provides the most accurate services for monitoring climate and immediate weather forecasting. Uh, October saw another step taken towards the completion of Galileo, Europe's independent satellite navigation system. With the successful launch of two more satellites to join the two previous in-orbit validation satellites launched in 2011, Europe is now able to check all aspects of Galileo's design. When complete, Galileo's constellation of 30 spacecraft will provide a full worldwide range of autonomous European services. Finally, 2012 has been an important financial and structural year for space in Europe. At the ESA Council meeting in Naples in November, ministers in charge of space from all 20 ESA member states allocated 10 billion euros to space programs despite the economic difficulties of the times. This will make possible the development of a new manned service module for the ISS, two new telecom missions, NEOSAT and ELECTRA, and historically, the birth of a new Ariane 6 program. Clearly, ESA's efforts in space are recognized and society understands that investing in space can boost innovation, economic growth and competitiveness.